Hello, my name is Abdul McWhorter, and I'm a senior accounting systems consultant here at NIMS and Associates. And in today's Acumatica ERP snapshot, we'll go over unlocking strategic insights, and we'll do that by taking a look at the art of budgeting in Acumatica ERP. And so let's just go ahead and take a look at today's agenda. So we intend to cover these topics. We'll go over a quick overview of first configuring the budget tree and then setting up the ledger that will keep track of all the budget transactions. Next, we'll take a look at the ways to enter data into Acumatica that can be used in the budget. There's a couple of ways you can do that. And then we'll finish today's snapshot by taking a look at releasing budget data. So releasing is synonymous with posting. And then we'll also look at once we release and or post the budget data, we'll look at using that information in reports in Acumatica. So the first portion of setting up a budget in Acumatica the prerequisite, so to speak, is first you would definitely have to configure the budget tree. Or second, you would set up a ledger that houses all of the transactions of the budget. Once we log into Acumatica, of course, there's a screenshot. And after we go through these screenshots, we'll take a quick look into Acumatica uh, just to see what it looks like. But from the finance workspace, and you'll see here on the left side, we're in the finance workspace. Under the preferences area here, we're going to look at budget configuration. And this is the part of our Acumatica where you'll create the budget tree. Once we select budget configuration, this brings us, of course, into the budget configuration screen. And here is where we'll construct our budget tree. Acumatica allows us, of course, you'll see here, we can construct this budget tree by different accounts that we select. And here, preloaded accounts, of course, revenue accounts, any expense accounts. And you can, of course, like anywhere in Acumatica with the plus button, you can add a line here that then you can use a separate account and or sub account here if you want it. But preloaded, Acumatica also allows you to set your budget up by account mask. Of course, here we can you know, look at the sales accounts or any accounts that start with four, adding wildcard numbers that would then select everything in that range and including sub accounts. And keep in mind, if you don't see sub accounts, maybe you don't have sub accounts set up, but there is an opportunity to set up a sub account mask as you go through the configuration of the budget tree. Once you've got your budget configuration set up, the next portion will be then to set up the budget ledger. And the budget ledger, of course, you see here is under the preferences section or in the finance workspace under the preferences section under ledgers. So select ledgers. The system then takes you to the ledger page where you must, uh, in this case, create a ledger to house the budget information. And so quick note, one thing is that there can be unlimited amount of budget ledgers created for each additional budget. So in this case, these steps, if you wanted to have more than one budget, you wanted to see it from an optimistic view, but also a pessimistic view or by any other view. But here's the steps. One, you go through, you'll create your ledger ID. Two, from the drop down, the type should be equal to budget. Then also, once you create your ledger ID and you create the uh, budget type, you want to make sure you associate this budget to any companies that you have in the system that you want the budget to be associated to. And then once you go through these three steps, you then want to make sure you save it. And so once you save the budget ledger, Acumatica then automatically on the branches tab of the same budget ledgers form, automatically associate the budget information to any branch that you have connected to the companies that you selected on the companies tab. 
And so that's the first portion of creating a budget in Acumatica ERP. So now that we've configured our budget tree, we then set up our budget ledger. It is now time to enter the data into our budget. So what we have to do here is get to our budgets form. And the way to get to our budgets form, of course, from the finance workspace, under the header budgets, you'll see the opportunity to open the budgets form. So once we open the budgets form, we see where we are here on the screen. There are three ways that information can be entered into the budget. Two of the ways, of course, you can enter information manually, insert budget data by clicking the plus sign. A new line will be created at the bottom of the page. And from there, of course, you would then enter the account information and a sub account if you have a sub account tied to that account. Then you, of course, would add the amount. You would then distribute that manually. That is an opportunity, but in most cases, you won't do that unless you just want to manually very quickly add one line of information. But just to know that is available. The next way that you can enter information is insert uh, budget data by uploading a spreadsheet. When you see this little arrow here with the document file up under it, this allows you to insert the budget data uh, by using a, an Excel spreadsheet. In this case, and in most cases, what you could or would do would be to download this budget spreadsheet that allows you the mapping that is in line with this Acumatica form here. And then you can manually update data throughout the spreadsheet and then reinsert the information here. But the very quickest way that Acumatica allows you is to insert budget data by using preloaded articles. And what that basically allows you is to use uh, preloaded information from prior periods that you can then manipulate to then create a budget. So what that means, for instance, you can take the sales data, say, from 2019, then ask Acumatica to use a multiplier Say, for instance, uh, in this case, we use a multiplier of 10%, and then it creates a new budget for you. So that budget for 2020 would be based off of sales for 2019 multiplied by 10%. So this is what you see in this account data here. Before we move on, just want to take a look at two views in Acumatica, the budget view. So here we have the simple view which you can see by account and by line. You have each account and each line item by specific account rolled out. And of course, you can scroll through, and this is the simple view. But Acumatica also allows the tree view, so everything has been rolled up by, in this case, revenue accounts, which are the 4,000 accounts, purchases and expenses, and so on and so forth. So nothing very different as far as the information goes, but just the view of the information. So you can see here, this is just a replication of the previous screen, let you know how you can enter data into the budget. Once we, of course, enter our data, in this case here, we have our data entered, we then must distribute the data. So once again, it has a tool here that you can select distribute. Box will open that asks, gives questions on how you want the information to be distributed evenly throughout the period or by whatever choice you want. You can have it distributed by each account or only by one particular account. And at that point, once you distribute the budget information, you then want to save the budget information for release in the future. And so now that we've entered our budget data, we have made any adjustments to the information we've distributed throughout the periods. We then want to make sure we post or release the budget the data information. And once we do that, that will allow us to take a view and use information in our financial reports. Here's a screenshot of Acumatica, and once we're logged in in our finance workspace under budgets, under the budgets header, you'll see release budgets. So at this point, we've created our budget, we've distributed it evenly, 
and we've saved our information, we then must release the information so that we can once again use it in reports and post the information. So let's go ahead and open the release budgets form. This is what the release budgets form looks like. It'll open here and of course, along the top header, you'll have the opportunity to release by individual line item or select every line item that's in the release budgets form and release those. Uh, be very careful with this option. In most cases, you should, along here, the check boxes, select only the line items, budget items that you want to release. And you will come along here. And then you'll select the release button. Okay. And then that will generate a message along the top of the screen that will let you know that the items have been released and that you can view the items. Of course, here, if you have a number of line items that you're searching for, you can use the headers here to very quickly narrow that search down, of course, by account and or sub account, financial year, so on and so forth. And so once we then release the budgets, we then have the opportunity to use that information to view the information in reports. And so in this case, we'll take a look at our P&L versus period to date budget. Of course, this report is housed here in finance under our financial statements. And then we select profit and loss versus budget. And once we run that report, of course, that report, then you can update these reports to reflect how your company would like to see the reports. But in this case, we'll just take a look at a copy of the report that was generated after we released the budget items. And you'll see here in the revenue section, period to date versus the budget amount, you'll see variances. So you can very quickly take a look at variances and see if the variance is very large, you can then use Acumatica's drill back feature to drill into each line item by line item to give you an overhead view of what's happening in those particular line items. Here we've taken a look at the configuration of the budget tree. We set up our budget ledger. We then went through entering budget data and posted that information. And here we are looking at the report that Acumatic provides us, drill back capability, variances, different things like that. And so with that being said, let's just go through a full recap of everything that we covered in this quick snapshot. One, we talked about setting up the budget ledger and also configuring the budget tree. We then went over the few ways that we can enter data into our budget. Of course, you can do that manually by upload or by preloading existing articles in Acumatica. And then we entered our budget data and had it all saved and we were in agreement with the information. We then released or posted that budget information. And after the posting of that budget information, we took a look at the profit and loss and what that report looked like in Acumatica. And so there you have it, just a quick overview of creating budgets, how budgets are formed and how they can be used in Acumatica. As always, I appreciate your time. And if this video was helpful, please like, share, subscribe. Enjoy the remainder of your day. Thank you.